all of that. Um, first one we got here is the uh, aluminum DLA style knife. Honestly, I can't say too much for it other than it works. It's just a metal magazine, kind of like the army uses. Uh, anti tilt. Locks back like it should. I haven't had any issues with it. It's metal, so if it bends, you can bend it back into place. And uh, not much I can say for it. It's kind of basic. It gets the job done. We've been using it for like 50 some years, 60 probably. And uh, if the military still using it, so I can still use it. Next up, we got pain mags. Pain mags are uh, what a lot of guns ship with. Mine came with one. They're personally my preference. I'm just gonna say that now. This one's a Generation Two. The you can get these for like nine bucks. Pretty cheap. Like they obviously work. They ship with a lot of these. Like it's right there. It locks back. And it's very ergonomic, pretty tough. Removable plates. There's not much you can do with the plates. You can just take them off if you can. You remove the entire thing. Because sometimes uh, with these mags you do have to replace springs, so that's good to know how to change that out. But um, it's not the only kind of pre mags they make. They also make uh, the Gen 3. I'm not going to load this one because it's uh, loaded. And the reason it's loaded is to demonstrate this dust cover. They call it a dust cover, but um... The dust cover actually is more of a, so it doesn't break the magazine having ammo in here. When you're not shooting, it pushes down the bullets inside so they don't put pressure on the plastic feed lips. Because if you don't have anything holding them down, the plastic one will wear out eventually. And then um, they also make the Gen 3s and California compliant versions. Although there's other states, I guess they sell these in uh, the Maryland people and uh, New Jersey and some other hell holes. That's what it looks like in here. It actually kind of sucks, not gonna lie. So after a certain point, this isn't even all the way back and it's already locking back. That's all the way back. It was already stopped at that point. It barely fits in here. So it seems to be working fine now, but it often has issues of coming out. I don't really care for it that much, but I'm just going to carry on to this in case I have to go through New Jersey sometime. And then on top of that, they also make windowed ones, which are uh, pretty gnarly. I got one just to see what it was about. If you pay attention, it's got an orange follower that points to a number that says 5, 15, 25. If you can't see anymore, it's probably 30. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Now, I really like these uh, Gen 3 P mags. I have a lot of them. Obviously, they lock back well. And they're really good for basically anyone, as long as you take good care of them. Now what a lot of people find instead of P-Mags are hex mags. They're basically um, one of the bigger competitors to uh, P-Mags, the other being the 
I'll get to it next. But um, yeah, these here, I don't like them as much, but I still kind of really like them. And the cool thing about this one is they make uh, these in other colors, so you can color code all your stuff. I believe the colors right now are red, red blue, green, yellow. Actually, what is the full set? I'll have to look up the full set later. They're never in stock because of everything going on, but they look really cool. So when everything's better and calm down, I might pick up some because they look awesome. So yeah, you can change these out. They do not come with a dust cover. So uh, these might wear out on you. And they cost about the same price as the mag. Some places they feel tougher, some pieces they don't feel as good. Like the plastic doesn't feel as rigid, but it feels denser and stronger. Definitely a tough, tough thing. It fits a little slimmer in here. So in case you have a different hand shape, you might like it more. Obviously it locks back. Never had any issues with it not locking back. I know some people don't like these, but I personally have no issue with them. Yeah, hex mix. The last one I'll be going over today is the Lancer L5s. This is the big competitor to PMAGs, and I kind of hate them. People really like them, like a lot, but I had nothing but issues with this, not gonna lie. What a lot of people like is they have steel feed lips here, and so it doesn't have the issue of wearing out like plastic ones might. But that's really the only good thing about this, I honestly. The polymer on this, the plastic fur, for those who don't know what polymer is, um, the polymer is really cheap feeling in the hand, and it's got a funky weight distribution on it. The pin to take out the bottom plate is tiny and in this back spot. I don't have anything I can make this. What is it? Yeah, it's a tiny little pin to get off this back plate. Now everything else is cheap plastic on this, honestly. I also don't like that it's transparent, but that's more of a personal thing. And they do make ones that are a bit more opaque. I guess one good thing about this is you know how much is in there, but that's really only a thing you should worry about at the range. There's an issue right there, it's not locking in. I've always had issues with this one. I, maybe it's a bad uh, make, but by a bad I mean, you don't want to lock back without forcing it back really hard. It didn't click like the other ones did. And it's stuck. not coming out. It's not locked. Even though you saw I forced it back with all my might. I've had nothing but issues with the bolt carrier lock back on this. And it's tough getting it in. This time it worked. That was a little bit rough coming out. You can already see some marks on the sides. It just does not like my gun or my gun does not like it. I'm not sure what the issue is but this has been nothing but a mess for me. But, um, yeah. As for what I recommend, maybe if your air likes these better, you could get these, but I'd say avoid these if you have one of these. Um, personally, I like P mags, but the uh, aluminum mags work fine if you're more an aluminum guy or gal. Um, hex mags are cool if you uh, like them a little bit better. It's perfectly okay to like them. They have a, they have the little color ID things you can switch out, which is a, no, a cool thing I wish I could do on PMAGs. But personally, I stock up on PMAGs whenever I see them in store and have money. But uh, yeah, that's all for today.
Bye.